Joined now by Cape Breton Eagles rookie forward, William Shields. Will, Eagles obviously playing well heading into this road trip. What are your thoughts on the season thus far for yourself and for your team? We came out a bit slow out of the gates, but kind of found our legs and got to know each other a little bit better and built some chemistry over the last couple of games. And obviously, the last couple of games have been going pretty well for us, and, and we're starting to climb back out of a bit of a hole off the start there. I think the team's playing pretty well, and the best is yet to come. How excited were you when John Goins told you you'd get a chance to play on the top line with Samuel Johnson and Ivan Ivan? What is it about that trio that works and that it kept working once Charles Boutin took Ivan's spot? pretty excited two great players to play alongside with and lots of guys out with injuries and sickness and stuff like that i kind of just look at it as, as an opportunity for me as a young guy and kind of do the most of what i can of that opportunity and hopefully show john that i can play there despite the age and, and the experience in the league and then like i said the chemistry coming along fit and Bhutan in there and you kind of throw anyone in in these next couple lines and it's going to work out you played bishop's Kearney prep in rochester new york at 15 talk about the decision to go down to the u.s to play prep school tough decision leaving home and it's a whole different country as well as a young kid and playing where I'm from obviously I was looking to make the jump to the queue in the next couple of years and, and get some really intense development and attention to detail on skills that I wanted to work on so where I was from they could offer that a little bit but not to the extent me and the family thought that I needed so kind of looking around with family relationship we ended up landing at BK it was just a great experience there and, and I'm really glad I did make that decision you get to know Cam Squires when you were there I know you were in different age groups did you ever get to play with Cam what was the connection like with him Obviously, I grew up knowing who Cam was. He's such a great player. He's always been. So I met him down there for the first time. Skated with him a lot down there and lived in the dorms with him a lot. Kind of built a relationship. It was also good to kind of just have another maritime guy there with me. You had a lot of team success that year, despite the fact it was a new program. Talk about the success of Bishop's Kearney that season. We ended up losing the national final, which was uh, kind of unexpected for a lot of people. It was a new program, so it was kind of just a really good job by Chris Collins, the hockey development director there to kind of get everyone in and, and have everyone kind of buy in and trust on the process of a new program. Despite it being the first year, lots of players coming in for the first time, gelling together pretty quick and obviously making that run. You were involved in an unfortunate incident during your U15 season because people might remember hearing about the Valley Wildcats bus crash. Talk about what that was like. Hopefully that hasn't deterred you from liking the traveling part of the game. <laughs> yeah, obviously an unfortunate event there in, in the band in the year. The bus crash coming up to Cape Breton, it was just kind of snowy day and, and roads were icy it was kind of getting dark out so kind of a, a lazy kind of sleep but ended up bus going off the road and sliding about 100 feet on its side so could have been a lot worse obviously it's, it's not great that it happened but everyone was able to come out of it okay and i didn't get too scared from the bus drives and and travel and stuff like that but you do always think of it in a windy road or something like that yeah i guess that's kind of all in the back of our mind so it's good to see that the team kind of was able to shake that off fairly quickly after it happened yeah, and the team was really good about it. A lot of counseling sessions with the team and, and people there to talk to about it and stuff that anyone was struggling with it or anything like that. You would have had many memorable experiences in hockey before hitting the QMJHL. I understand you went to Russia to play in the Tretiak Cup in 2019. Tell us about that. I ended up getting reached out to by a guy from New York, actually. So he ended up being my coach of Bishop Kearney. So that was one of the friendly relationships we had there. But he was my coach in Russia. And he reached out to the family and just said, hey, we're taking this North American team. We've been watching you. We think it'd be a great opportunity. And obviously at the time, Russia was kind of a neat spot and it was a little bit calmer then. So me and my mother were kind of keys and haws on it and said, why not? It's a probably once in a lifetime trip. And I mean, ended up going over there, meeting a lot of uh, new friends and the guys I still talk to today. And I ended up having that coach as my coach at PK, along with two other players that played alongside me with that PK. You were a first round draft pick of the Eagles. Did you have any idea it was going to be Cape Breton when they chose you? How exciting was that? And tell us about the decision to come to the queue, given that you were obviously willing to explore the American possibility to go NCAA. Playing in the U.S., there's a lot of people kind of seeing if I was 100% Q and Cape Breton being an Overscotian team and playing away from home in the States two years. Kind of was hoping it was them and kind of get back in an Overscotia closer to home and play some junior hockey here. Obviously, I think there was other teams that may have uh, swung the decision a little bit other way, but it being Cape Breton, I was really excited about that and just wanted to get started after I heard my name. The last few years, there hasn't been the traditional draft, but you did get to take part in something pretty cool in Cape Breton because they had everything for Thomas Lavoie, and then you as a first-rounder got to go on stage the next day. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Logan Shaw, James Shepard were all there. How cool was that, and how nice was it to meet fans right away? It was really cool to meet everyone there, and I met Thomas there for the first time, and then Shaw and Shepard as well. You can kind of see me and Thomas standing there where it started, and then you know those guys on how it's going. It does really show that you stick to the process, and it can work out, and it's just little events like that. You can kind of get your mind thinking and get you ready to go. 
I remember at that event, you told me a story about your Eagle celebration, and now that has a different significance to it. Tell us about that. In Pee Wee, I ended up in a shootout with Eagles draft pick Callum O'Coin, and he ended up going first and scoring and, and did the Kuznetsov Eagle Sally. I ended up being the shooter after him and had to back him up with his goal. So I ended up scoring and doing the Eagle Sally back at him. And funny enough, he got drafted on that second day and texted me and said, yeah, we'll bring that Eagle Sally to a new meeting at camp. It's funny how that thing kind of swings full circle. It's pretty great. It's funny that you both remembered that story too. Callum's having a nice season too, so maybe we'll see him in the queue down the line in Cape Breton. The last thing I'll ask you for those that hadn't seen you play, how would you describe Will Shields as a player? I think I'm very offensively minded, not a big guy, so I like to use speed into my game and, and score goals. I like, like to put the puck in the net and get the fans into it and produce offense. Fans have enjoyed watching it thus far. Best of luck going forward, Will. Thanks for this. Thank you. Much appreciated. That is Eagles 4, Will Shields joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union Eagles Hockey 1270 CJCU.